Welcome to Droid Vitamin Twine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to cover link appending, replacing, and prepending in SugarCube 2.36. So we've previously seen how the link macro can introduce additional interactivity in passages. We can start to add more links that don't transition to a passage when the reader clicks on them. And this can be incredibly powerful. However, the link macro comes with something we need to keep in mind when we use it. It works silently which is to say it ignores all output that might have happened within it. This can be incredibly useful as we've seen when we combine multiple lines of macros inside the link macro itself. And it also comes with the problem that sometimes we want to produce output as a result of a reader clicking on a link, and we can't do that with the link macro itself. However, that doesn't mean that we can't do it at all within SugarCube. There are in fact three macros that use links that are designed for this very specific purpose that allow us to change text in different ways, and I'm going to cover them as part of this video. They are link append, link replace, and link prepend. For each corresponding macro in the three that I've listed so far, notice that each of them describe the action that happens. Link append, link replace, and link Prepend, and these all describe what happens with the contents of the macro and the text of the link itself. It's either going to be appended, replaced, or prepended. So let's look at each of these macros in turn. So here we have link append. So notice we would see initially the text drawer, and then would be prepended and find your pen. So let's go ahead and build from here and look at this. You open the drawer and find your pen. Notice this is link append, so it appends whatever that text is for the link to whatever is inside of it, appending it to the link, link append. Now as we might guess, based on what we've now learned from link append, that link replace does the replacement instead of the appending. And with that assumption, we will be correct. In this case, we're going to see drawer, and then have that replaced with the text that's inside of it. So let's go ahead and move the start over to example two this time. Go ahead and play it. Inside the drawer it's append. So we've seen append and we've seen replace. So as we might guess with the last one, this prepends. So in this case, I have inside the drawer. Knowing that the pen is will be prepended, put in front of the corresponding text inside that link. So going ahead and moving this start passage over here, we can build inside the drawer. The pen is inside the drawer. Notice in each case, we're now producing output with a corresponding sister macro to the original link macro. So keep in mind the link macro works silently, that is it ignores all output, but it has three sisters here I've now covered, link append, link replace, and link prepend to produce that output we may want. In each case, they work like the link macro, but correspondingly do something. They either append, replace, or prepend. In each case, they can be incredibly useful for the three specific use cases that they provide for. That is, we can either append, replace, or prepend. And again, incredibly useful when we want something like the link macro that we've previously seen, but we want to produce output with it. So when we don't want to produce output, we can use the link macro. When we do want to produce output, we can think about which one of these we might want. Are we appending, replacing, or prepending? And then pick the corresponding macro name, link append, link replace, or link prepend in SugarCube 2.36 as part of Twine 2.6. Thanks for watching.